Hi guys, it's Miss Wolf, and today I'm going to show you in this video of how to make a dichotomous key. A dichotomous key is a tool used by scientists to identify different organisms by their appearance to discover their scientific name. A dichotomous key, die meaning two, is a key where the steps are broken into couplets, parts A and B. So by following the key, any person will be able to identify their specimen to the indicated taxonomic level. The example we'll be looking at today will be six different types of shoes. So step one, first we have to look at these six shoes and observing their similarities and differences. In step two, we need to lay out the steps. So because we have six items, we're going to have five steps. And if you can see here, each step is broken into two parts. So now we go into step three. So we're going to separate our items or our shoes into two groups based on the observations we made of their similarities and differences. In this case, we will take, for our example, we're going to look at a shoe that has a high heel and shoes that do not have high heels. In step four, we're going to follow step 1A all the way through until we've classified the specific name of those types of shoes. So if a shoe has a high heel, we're going to go to step two and split that into two more groups. So if the shoe is a high heel and red soles, they're going to be Steve Maddox. If the shoe has a high heel and, also, and it's solid and two straps, they're going to be our wedges. Now we have to go back to 1B and follow that step all the way through. So if a shoe does not have a high heel, we're going to go to step three because we've already used step two. We're going to step, go to step three and step 3A. If a shoe has laces, we're going to go to step four because then step 3B will be our shoes do not have laces. So if a shoe has laces and the shoe also has a swoosh on it, they're going to be our Nike Airs. If a shoe does not have a swoosh, they're going to be our Sperry Top Siders. And now since we classified part 3A all the way through, we have to go back to 3B and classify that all the way through to finish up our dichotomous key. So if a shoe does not have laces, we're going to jump down to step 5 since we finished on step 4. And we're going to say that our shoes are either calf high and not have laces, they're going to be our Ugg boots. And if our shoes are low and below the ankle, they're going to be our Toms. This is our dichotomous key for our six shoes. Um, I hope this helps and this uh, same process is used for classifying all organisms within making a dichotomous key. Alright, till next time guys.